I hope this man understands the great pain he had caused to me and my family and pays the rightful consequences for all he has done. Now, we've all had fights over stupid things before, but I bet none of you would really hurt anybody for it, right? I mean, I'd hope not. But in this really disturbing case, a basic game of beer pong started a terrifying night that would only lead to more fear and death. And the guy who did an awful thing that night doesn't even seem to care. So let's find out what happened. In 2015, Arturo Villa was just a normal 18-year-old living in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Known to his friends and family as Turi, he worked at Taco Bell, and his girlfriend described him as smart, hardworking, and generous. In late December 2015, Arturo and his friend Asias Madrid and some other buddies all got together to party at a house. But when shots were fired there, which is scary enough, they sensibly left that place. Luckily, nobody got hurt at that party. But the friends decided to not call it a night and went on to play beer pong at a trailer park. This game went on all night and it got super intense. Did you know that many colleges now outlaw beer pong because it's caused too many fights? Well, this one wasn't any different. The game was played for higher and higher stakes and eventually the friends bet their watches and Isaias lost his during the match. Yeah, he made a really bad bet, and he didn't take it well at all. Late that Sunday night, the cops are called to some reported shots at the same trailer park. The officers who were sent to the scene at 4.30 a.m. found Arturo badly wounded and two injured 17-year-olds. Apparently, after losing the watch, Isaias started a fight, which spilled out into the trailer park. Then, some more shots were fired, hitting Arturo and injuring another person. Sadly, Arturo passed away that evening, and Isaias was arrested for it. So case closed, right? Or maybe not. Of course, Arturo Villa's family were completely devastated, but they were even more determined to see that Isaias was brought to justice. During the first stage of the trial, Arturo's family even brought his ashes with them. That really makes their point, doesn't it? His friends and family campaigned hard to make sure Isaias got the sentence he deserved. The statements from the family are also really heartbreaking. This is his mom speaking during the hearing. I hope this man understands the great pain he had caused to me and my family and pays the rightful consequences for all he has done. His aunt also said this. Why? Why did he destroy our lives? There's not one day that we don't suffer for him. By the end of the trial, Isaiah took the plea deal. This meant that he was only sentenced to 16 years for what he did to poor Arturo. But Arturo's family wasn't pleased. That was much too short, you know? They were really PO'd and yelled at Isaiah as he was walking out of court. I'd be mad too, but don't worry. He wouldn't exactly get off as it first seemed. Isaiah Madrid clearly hung out with some really bad people. And while he was waiting for trial over what he did to Arturo, he had been connected to taking another person's life earlier that same year. Jadon Chavez Silver was hanging out with his friends at a party in June 2015. He was a friendly, normal teen who was pretty popular at school. Basically, a real sweetheart. His grandfather called him beautiful inside and out. And on that June evening, Jaden was just walking home after a good night out when a car drove past and someone inside opened fire on him. As he lay there on the pavement bleeding out, his friends desperately called 911 for help. But you might be shocked at this call between Jaden's friend and the 911 dispatcher. Okay. Okay. 
I can't believe that. He hung up and she was clearly upset, okay? Her friend was bleeding out right in front of her. I can't imagine how scary that was for her. Oh, and also, 911 operators really aren't meant to take an angry caller personally. Although an ambulance had eventually been sent to help him, it was way too late, and he passed away. Jaden might still have had a chance if the dispatcher hadn't been a total moron. The guy was fired after this happened. A suspect in another case took a plea deal. His confession ultimately connected Isaias to Jaden's murder. Apologize for the tragedy that happened and that I wouldn't wish this upon nobody, but all in honesty, I'm not responsible for what happened. He denied it, and to be fair, that's what the trial was for, to prove that he did it. The problem was, he never even looked a little bit worried or sorry. And the court and Jaden's family really noticed. The truth is, the night of June 26, 2015, Isaias Madrid killed my happiness. He took my other half. Every morning when I wake up, it still hits me. My son is dead. Jaden was literally in the wrong place at the wrong time. But at least Isaias got sent down for both attacks now. After the trial for Jaden took place, that 16-year sentence suddenly became way longer. I am going to sentence you to life imprisonment. Yes. yes. He was finally handed a life sentence for taking Jaden's life too. So he'll probably be behind bars until he's at least 50. I guess that's some comfort for both families. Or maybe it won't. Jaden died. A big part of me died with him. Even though his lawyer claims he's totally remorseful, in October 2022, Isaias failed his appeal for a shorter sentence because the judge just didn't believe he had changed. Jaden's mom doesn't really buy it either. Maybe because there were photos of him making gang signs in prison. So she doesn't really accept that he's sorry. Now Isaias can't plead for early release again for almost 39 more years. And frankly, Jaden's mom hopes that he stays in prison for that whole time. She said if he stays locked up all that time, that's when I'll know justice has been done. What do you think about this case? Will Isaias just go out and do this kind of thing again whenever he's set free? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below.